Hello and welcome to the Friday Climbing Daily Gear Show. On today's show we're going to be having an in-depth look at the Petzl Grigri 2, an assisted braking belay device. We're going to be showing you how it works and the safest ways of using it. And also we're going to check out the new Petzl Grigri Plus. Now before we start, a safety notice. Although a Grigri is an assisted braking device, you still need to use good technique when using it. Don't rely on the machine alone to save your climbing partner's life. Also, I am just a bloke on the internet. I am not a guide or an expert in belaying, so make sure if you don't understand anything I'm saying or you're new to belaying to speak to an expert first. Now I'm going to assume that you have a basic knowledge of how to belay and have been taught the safety steps required. If you're a complete novice to climbing, this probably isn't the video for you. In fact, if you are a novice, I would recommend learning on an ATC or non-assisted braking belay device. That's so you can learn some really good habits and aren't tempted to be a bit lazy with using a Grigri. So Petzl brought out their first Grigri in 1991. In 2011, they upgraded it to the smaller, lighter, and I think much better Grigri 2. So this is how it works. You open up the device, and feed the rope in in the direction that it actually says written on the inside of the Grigri. So, this is my climber. He goes, as it says, on the climbing side, and then you feed the braking in underneath. So it's in a U shaped. You close the device down, take a locking carabiner, lock it all together, and then attach it onto your belay hoop. So your climber comes out at the top and the braking device is down the bottom. So to show you how this works properly, I'm gonna to have to clear this space and rig a rope up. Okay, so as you can see, I've set it up with the rope running through some carabiners on top. So this is to simulate the climber. As I said before, the rope has been fed through in a U-shaped with the climber coming out the top and the brake rope in the bottom. Now to show you what happens when a climber falls, I'm gonna need some help and Hugo, normally cameraman extraordinaire, but today is my uh, help. I like this, kind of like the beautiful assistant. Thanks. A bit weird, that. Uh, so, Hugo, you, you, you are the climber. So, uh, using the proper belay technique, we're gonna imagine that the climber has fallen off, so if, if you could just pull down on the rope. Okay, so when he's pulling down, when he's fallen off, the device locks up. Now, if I was to take my hand off the brake rope, which you should never ever do, like this, you can see the climber is still held. Now, okay, thank you very much. Now, obviously you should never let go of this brake rope, but let's say I get hit by a rock fall or I fall over or I get distracted or I just blow my nose and I let go. The assisted braking means that the climber doesn't automatically just hit the deck. So it's an extra level of safety built into the Grigri. Okay, so this is how you lower the climber down. So if you could load the rope again. So my climber has fallen off. They can't do their project anymore. They want to be back on the ground having a cup of tea. All you do is move the brake device over this middle metal section here and then gently open up the lever whilst feeding the rope slowly through the grigri. The climber will then be lowered gently to the floor. Now what you shouldn't do is immediately just wadge open that handle because the climber will then descend rapidly through the system. If you panic or lose control all you need to do, if you just pull down again, so if you're panicking they're going way too fast they're going to hit the deck, just let go of the handle and the device will lock up again, slowing the climber down. Okay, so that's falling and lowering covered. Now here's what to do if you want to give slack. Now for this situation, the climber is going to be lead climbing. If you don't know what lead climbing is, then watch another video. So the climber needs some slack. Let's just say they're moving over fairly easy terrain, nice and slowly up the wall. To do this, you can simply feed the rope through the belay device. So as the climber moves up the wall, I'm just simply feeding it through a little bit at a time. Now, if you do this really quickly, then the system will lock up. But if you do it slowly and easily, you will be able to do that. Now, the climber's gonna reach a point where they have to clip, which means they need a big chunk of slap, slap, slack to reach up and clip that quick draw. So to do this, I need to give slack a bit quicker. Now, this is the best way I think to do it. You're holding onto the brake rope, never, ever, ever let go of the brake rope. You move your fingers, so it's underneath this little protruding metal bit. Put your thumb on the handle and press down very lightly and loosen your grip slightly on that brake rope. You'll then be able to take a big chunk of slack out quickly. So let me show you again. 
So the climber needs slack. I move my fingers underneath. I press down. I loosen my grip and give them a big chunk. Never, ever, ever let go of this brake rope, ever. And don't grab the belay device without holding onto the rope and just press down and give out slack like this. If the machine was to fail or the lever was to jam open suddenly, there's nothing stopping that climber from hitting the ground. Never let go of the brake rope. It's always worth remembering that the danger time for a lead climber is in the first couple of bolts of a climb, usually between the second and third bolt. It may look like they're high up on the wall, but if they've got a big chunk of slack out about to make a clip and they fall, they're very quickly gonna, well, fall and come pretty close to the ground. To sort of save them, pay 100% of attention and you can take a step backwards just to take that slack out of the system. Now a grigri comes into its own when the climber is working a hard sport route. If they're projecting certain sections, coming up and down the route and falling off a lot. Now where a grigri comes into its own is when you're working a hard sport route. If the climber is sort of going up and down a wall, projecting certain sections and falling off a lot. So if I get Hugo again, really? All right, to, uh, to pull the rope down. Let's pretend my climber has just fallen off. Uh, it can, it, because it locks up, if the climber's hanging around on the rope, I can be a little bit more relaxed with how I hold it. With an ATC, you have to put a lot of pressure into that um, braking rope to keep the climber in the same place. With this, the climber is going to stay in the same place because it locks. Thank you very much. Okay, now for stage two uh, of your hard sport route working belay, gree gree <laughs> techniques, I am gonna need someone to actually be on a rope and I think you might have to film, so. Oh, you did. Haven't really used it yet, have you? No. And the helmet. Yeah. Thanks, though. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Okay, so this is how you use a grigri to haul the climber back up a route. So let's say they're working their super hard project and they fall off from the crux and they want to reascend the rope, get back to the crux to work the move again. They aren't necessarily going to want to work that section they've just battled through. So, Jake, if you got on the ladder and fall off, is definitely going to work. Okay, so you swing towards me. So, Jake is somewhere up the wall. He wants to get back to his high point. All you do is he pulls on this rope that's coming out of the grigri, and as he pulls down on it, I'm going to do a little jump, pull the slack through the grigri. The grigri will then lock, keeping him in the same place. So, you ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, and one, two, three. So, as you can see, every time he pulled on the rope, and I jumped up and pulled down. He ascends up and the device locks into position. Right, back to the sofa. Whew, like magic. So Petzl have just updated the Grigri 2 with this, the Grigri Plus. So is it worth the upgrade and do you need it? One of the newest features is this extended panic handle on the Grigri Plus. This prevents the B-layer from dropping or lowering the climber too quickly. I've seen it happen when a B-layer panics, they pull open that handle, everything's moving too fast and the climber hits the deck. With this, if the handle is pulled back too far, it, as you can see, goes a little bit further and locks. This is just an extra feature, to, to an extra level of safety for the B-layer. Really good. The second thing is this switch on the back. So with this switch, you can switch between top roping and lead climbing modes. In top roping mode, the whole thing's a bit grabbier and you obviously can't give slack as quickly. Whereas in lead climbing mode, you can give slack smoother and easier and the whole device just runs a bit better. Now this is really good if you climb indoors a lot uh, or if you're just projecting certain routes and you need to be on a top rope. Also really good for novices who are learning how to top rope. And the Greek Greek is an extra level of safety over an ATC. The whole thing is only a little bit bigger than a normal Grigri and only weighs 30 grams more. So for me, not enough to put me off buying it. So would I buy it? So if you need a new Grigri or you're looking to buy a Grigri for the first time, definitely get a Grigri Plus. The new safety features are brilliant and the way it feels when belaying is a massive improvement on the old model. But if you have a Grigri 2 and it's absolutely fine not wearing down, then I'm not sure I would upgrade to the new model. As long as you use a Grigri 2 right, it's never going to let you down, it will last you for ages. If you're a novice climber or you're just starting out, definitely get a Grigri Plus. It's just a no-brainer. Now before I go, remember to enter the Salewa Get Vertical competition for a chance to win some amazing climbing and mountaineering experiences. Check this out. Morning. So we go slowly there. I think we need uh, four or five hours.
Today is a very beautiful day. For me, the adventure is everything. I'll put the link to the Salewa website in the copy below and as always I'll link the gear we've talked about, so the Grigris today, in the copy so you can check it out if you want to buy one. And please make sure you're commenting and liking and subscribing to our videos. We do climbing videos every single day and we really want you guys' support. So thank you in advance. Thanks for watching, see you soon.